Okay, today we're going to go over the um, iPhone 7 mod. This is the iPhone 7 that um, comes without a speaker and um, cannot record on the memo. Um, in the video, we will make sure and locate the problem is. And then after we had to disassemble everything, all the parts, screens, and left over to take off the motherboard. To disassemble the iPhone 7 model screen, it's it's a harder job than previous model. So you have to be careful and take as much time as you need. First up, we have to uh, disconnect the battery before we disassemble any cables. This um, we're recommending using this um cable remover because um it's made this plastic material. It helps you to prevent any damage to the flux easily. Okay, now we're about to take off the motherboard. This is a common fault, just like um, we mentioned. It's um, it's a I see that the codec I see that um, damage that um, it's unable to sync the signal uh, or be able to communicate between the CPU. It's a I square C AP two codec main clock. Uh, normally we call it uh, a C twelve because the the pads on the layout it's, it's actually labeled C twelve. Um, the first step, uh, the the first step would uh, we have to take out this uh, codec I see first, apply some of flux. And using the heat gun at three forty, the temperature is three forty, and the airflow air is forty. And by removing this IC, we here we use a special tweezer. It's uh, made by titanium titanium material. It's uh, it's soft and flexible. It won't break your IC when taking when taking it off. If you use a normal Twizzer, the the material is it's harder, so it may damage the IC while you take you are taking away the IC from the motherboard. Okay, we we'll just take off the codec IC, and then next step is that usual we have to clean the motherboard. Uh, to exchange from higher temperature tin to lower temperature tin. And you may notice that there are missing pads on the already on the, the motherboard. It's it's alright because um the pads lose easily on under this IC because we we think that this um this phone will have was dropped before. And then we would we have to do a micro jump on the C12 pad. Um, in in the end of the video, that we will show you all the tools that we use during the video, including this week. It's good week. It's very useful. It's very high it's highly recommended when taking away taking away all the tents from the motherboard we try to take all take away most of the tin as as possible
so when we are rebounding back the IC one it, it will, we were able to put back, put back the IC even Right, uh, for we we'll clean the motherboard using the thinner water for the first time <laughs> to take away the flux. We we'll try to zoom in because uh, we're about to do the micro jump on the C12 pad. This um this is actually similar to the iPhone six plus, the common fold the the flickering screen and the M1 pads that gets loose very easy it's it's a similar task uh, I believe uh, many of you have noticed even the Apple did a recall on the on the iPhone 6 Pro okay uh, we use the blade to scrape up the surface of the motherboard and left over the the circuit and on the circuit we apply the tin so it helps it helps when we are doing the the first end of the micro jump wire. hold this wire using the tweezer on our left and simply just soldering on to the circuit okay. the point is to only tip the soldering the micro jumping wire instead of um, applying entirely onto the motherboard you might have to try this for several times because um, the, the, the wire is very thin. We cut away the extra to let, um, and then we are starting to make a lollipop to make to recover the pads that it's, um, it's losing. So it lies that is lost. Okay, this is a perfect demonstration of doing a lollipop. Um, the the length and uh, the circle is is perfect. Okay, we clean the motherboard for the second time with the thin water. After we make this perfect um, lollipop micro jump. We would have to apply some tin onto the to the circle. It seems very easy when doing this on the under the video. We're doing this with uh, with the uh, in the video, but it actually requires many times of um, practices. And then, uh, when we're applying the tin on the circle, we have to hold the the micro jump wire on the other end using the tweezer that we are going to show you. It's not the titanium, titanium tweezer, it's uh, the other one. And we will also show you at the end of the video as well. Okay, we're just trying to make it perfect and solid. Every, every step that we do is it will affect whether this customer will come back or not. We don't like to do the same 
the same job twice so we would have to try to make it perfect at once <coughs> Right, this is a perfect example. You should do it like this. This is a, we call it this a minimum requirement in our lab. This is at least you have to do doing a lollipop on iPhone seven or even on iPhone six plus. Sometimes applying the thinner water while cleaning the motherboard it helps out to get the clear vision on the <coughs> on the stuff or on the lollipop that we do. Sometimes when you then we have to make we can make adjustment after that. And then on the top upper part of the micro jump we used we have to use the UV max to ice insulate <coughs> this part. <laughs> but we do not apply UV max on the lolly part itself because that's the that's the part that we have to solder back when the we have to use when sorting back the IC and then we had we apply some heat to the UV max and it will get solid normally this process takes about 30 seconds to one minute okay now we're going to go over with um, reboiling this codec IC. First, we will take away all the high melting point tin on the IC using the JPC iron. We don't stay on the chip. Sorry, uh, so we don't stay on the IC for too long because um, it actually boils while we apply the JPC iron on the IC. And then we will have to clean away the flux and we're about to do the reboiling. I think we're missing the stencil, so let's take a while to find the, the right stencil. Alright, we found the stencil, and as you can see, we have to position, position each point first, and then clean the stencil before we actually apply the southern paste. The southern paste is um, 138, the degree is 138. And after that, we will have to use the cloth to take away the extra sodium paste. And then simply just use the heat gun 330 and Air Force 40 to make the reboiling. <coughs> and after that, we will do the refloat again to make uh, each solder board round and perfect.
and we're about to put this um, codec X back to the motherboard. Uh, a job like this, it should be perfect uh, without any problem. Some flux uh, as usual. The tweezer that we're using right now is the titanium tweezer. Uh, every time you see this um, codec IC or the um, touch IC, it's mm, the material is mainly mainly uh, made by glass, so you have to use this titanium titanium tweezer to prevent you from breaking this this IC. To saw to put back this um, code IC, the temperature is three thirty, airflow is forty. Hmm. I think now we we put back this IC perfectly and we have to clean the motherboard. Try to make the motherboard as clean as possible. It also prevents you from getting this um, customer come back. Okay, we're about to uh, assemble back to the chassis to test. Okay, we're assemble back to all the cables. Uh, and remember, the battery is always the last to connect. There are two cables, antenna cables, that's very fragile, so use the tweezer to help you to, to position the point. We're now turning on this iPhone. Okay, so now we we'll try to dial up the phone again. Okay. And then try to do the recording. Mode. Now it works. Yeah. So the problem is solved. And then next, uh, we will go over all the tools that we use. This is uh, a titanium tweezer that we mentioned in the video, and that's the micro jump wire. And also this is the motherboard holder and the tweezer that we used.